The real question after today's verdict is if this will bring any real change to the justice system and how police are tried in court. And our Mike McDaniel spoke with some experts this afternoon about it. Mike, what can you tell us? Yeah, with these guilty verdicts, the big question tonight is what changes, if any, will follow and more importantly, how quickly any of that may happen. Potential changes touch on everything from what's considered excessive force and police accountability to community interaction all the way up to overall systematic reform. WWL legal analyst Kiva Landrum says there's a lot of work to be done when it comes to criminal justice reform and it's not going to happen just from this one case. However, she says this is a start and believes this will begin to have some type of impact at the community level. Dillard University Associate Professor of Criminal Justice Ashraf Ismail says this wasn't just a trial for one person, but rather the entire criminal justice system. He says many cases involving officers charged with crimes just don't play out in the public eye like this one did. Even though this case got a lot of attention, he doesn't expect one case to stop abuse of power. This is going to shape how communities and police departments interact with each other, uh, hold the standard of what is reasonable force, uh, you know, to, to a standard that uh, is a high standard. And, you know, I think it's going to shape how we move forward with uh, criminal justice reform. It's hard to tell from one trial. This is a turning point on uh, accountability of law enforcement. I guess we need to kind of, it sends a clear message, obviously, but we're going to have to wait and see how this really impacts change because, I, you know, I, I'm not confident one way or the other that change is going to be impacted. Uh, so it's a starting point. Both Landrum and Ishmael agree that the video in this case played a large role in solidifying those guilty verdicts in the case. And whatever happens from here, this case will be a foundation. Live in downtown New Orleans, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.